Good morning, Joe, and thanks for joining us today. Hey, good morning, Charlie. It's great to see you. Look forward to seeing you in person, hopefully real soon. Yeah, boy, the feeling's mutual. Well, good morning, everyone else, and thank you for joining us on our uh, continuing series of collaboration conversations. I have the privilege of introducing Joe Bazette. He's the Chief Technology Officer for General Dynamics, Ordnance, and Tactical Systems. And I thought maybe we'd just start out by letting everybody look, know a little bit about yourself, about the company, and what it is you guys do. Sure, Charlie. So as you said, I'm the Chief Technology Officer for uh, GDOTS. I've been uh, working here uh, about 30 years. And uh, GDOTS has grown to 5,600 employees, about $3 billion in sales. And we do everything from 20 millimeter uh, ammunition up to the 155 uh, missile components for uh, warheads, control systems, um, composites, uh, weapon systems, and energetics. So it's quite a broad portfolio, uh, keeps me uh, on my toes. And it's, uh, we've been a member of, uh, of the DOTSI and what was the wet sea before that for over 20 years and probably have 25 active contracts going at any one time uh, within the uh, within the Mac, Mac and Dotsie family. Well, and I also didn't mention for our listeners that you serve on our executive committee and have served for the last seven years. So thank you for all that you do in guiding us and uh, ensuring that we can continue to move forward. Well, let me ask you another question. And now you're, you know, here you are as this prime contractor. Uh, where do you see the opportunities for the NAC? And how do you take advantage of our program? So, uh, you know, there's a lot of needs within the, within the Army and the DOD. Uh, there, there's a lot of uh, requirements that are coming up. And everything's about speed now, too. We, we don't have the, the luxury of, of these long development programs. So, we want to we want to get things out there fast, um, and one of the things I love about Dotsie and the NAC is is that's that's something we do well. We we uh, we can get things out there fast to the user, and to me it's very personal. It comes back um, to about 50 years ago. My father was a uh, an artillery commander in Vietnam, and he gave me this this plaque, and it's uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's it's a couple of mortar uh, fins from live mortars that were fired at he, he, he and his troops uh, 30, 50 years ago today, uh, in, in July of uh, 1970. And they didn't really have any way to uh, to protect themselves against that. So um, about 10 years ago, the Army came out with a joint operational needs statement for counter artillery rockets and and mortars to have a robust system to protect the troops against this. So. I'm very proud that our medium caliber group uh, at Marion, Illinois developed uh, the M940 round. I have a 20 millimeter round that's fired at rapid fire uh, against these um, against these targets with a self-destruct fuse. And so that was something we were able to get done very quickly um, using the OTA as well and uh, and provide um, protection for uh, for our troops. Um, in the future, uh, there's a lot of threats. Um, Counter UAS, known as like the airborne IEDs now, that's a big threat our troops come across um, every day. And uh, the DOD is working very hard. And uh, the NAC and the DOTSI, I think, can play a big role in that using uh, the collaboration and the technologies that we have in this great consortium of over 800 uh, industry partners uh, and universities working with the government to, uh, to attack these, these very serious problems. Well, clearly, and they require very complex solutions, and, uh, and two heads are better than one, right? So how do you use the NAC to find those uh, technology providers, those innovators, those disruptors that allow you ultimately to bring all these technologies together to, uh, quite frankly, uh, do some of the most amazing uh, ordinance that I've ever seen? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, so one of my favorite events at the at the NAC is our annual meeting um, that, that we've had, and the last day of the annual meeting is uh, is what we call speed dating. So we have 15 minute um, increments where anyone who wants to come talk to us uh, and other industry partners and the government um, can can book a 15 minute slot. They can come in. We can talk about technologies they have, um, technologies we have, programs that we can work on. And I can't tell you the number of times that. We've reached out to um, many of these um, companies and got them on existing programs or worked with them on programs that were their initiatives or our initiatives. And it's just a, 
it's just a great opportunity to resource. So I think that's something, um, take advantage of that collaboration and, uh, and also take advantage of the really wonderful um, portal and website that, uh, that we've been working really hard on um, to be able to collaborate, especially in this environment now where we're not able to get together face-to-face uh, -face in conferences, but we're doing, I think, a really good job um, using a lot of the tools like Zoom that we're using today and being able to, to, uh, to collaborate and reach out to, and, uh, and talk about things we can do together. Uh, I really appreciate that. Do you have, if you don't mind my asking, maybe an example of how you've used the, uh, the uh, collaboration that's available to you through the, through the consortium in, uh, in, in a project, for example? Sure. So uh, one that comes to mind is um, we're doing a project right now with a small company called Orbital Research. Uh, they've done a lot of SBIR efforts, um, done um, some very early R&D efforts um, in, in DOTSI, and, um, and they've been a great company. They have great technology for guidance and control, for range extension, for mortars and artillery. And we have them on a fairly large program right now with the Army called the XM1155 and using some of their range extension technologies to really help get the, the long ranges that um, our warfighters are looking, are looking for, uh, especially in long range precision fire. So that's just one example. It didn't happen overnight. It was, a, it was a, something we worked together, uh, building trust, um, understanding their technology and seeing, seeing the right fit and the right fit came up. So uh, very, uh, very happy working, working with Orville Research. Really appreciate your willingness and ability to reach out and to uh, and bring others into uh, the kind of relationships and, and technology opportunities that you know that you guys have, and that speaks highly of you, Joe, and of your company. And I sure appreciate that. Do you have a, you know before we break any last words of advice, uh, anything to either prime contractors or non-traditionals um, that might help them be a little more successful in uh, helping our warfighters through our modernization efforts. Sure. So, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give you some advice, which is persistence. Um, and, it, and it's always improvement. We're working um, uh, on the NAC board to continually push um, the process to improve the OTA process to make it a better experience for our customer and, uh, and, and for our non-traditionals and, and for the prime contractors, for the whole community. So if you've got ideas about that, about improvement, we're all ears. We want to we uh, do that, but just, just stick at it. Uh, be persistent. Reach out. Um, and I think you'll find um, a very welcoming, collaborative community that just wants to, um, to find solutions for our warfighters. Roger all. Really appreciate your time, Joe. It's really good to see you. Good to see you, Charlie. Have a great day. You too. All right. Bye-bye.